So I've done a lot of engineering analysis. You can go to my website and see more, but I've been able to prove in sort of a fun way, you know, I'm not too, too hardcore scientific, but in, in a fun way, I could show you a real world example where a Nissan LEAF versus a 25 mile per gallon ICE vehicle, internal combustion engine, ICE vehicle, and look at the numbers. Human nature suggests that the, when we buy cars, we buy them in such a way where, you know, we go, I really like that, it's cool, it's red, it looks nice, it's part of my emotional identification. Oh gosh, it's too expensive, I really can't afford 19 or, or, or 90,000, but I'm going to kind of reach into the checkbook and buy it. And that's human nature. We look, we're, we're wired to the sort of immediate response. But if you do a little analysis, and this is what my company does, it'll show you that that decision to buy an ICE vehicle is going to cost you dearly over the use of the vehicle. I, I tell the story, I was at a San Francisco event a few weeks ago, and we launched this new document. And uh, we were celebrating a little bit, and I went to the, the, um, the dinner club afterwards, and some 25-year-old uh, kid, sort of a handsome dude, and he was all excited about where he was going. He'd worked for his very wealthy dad, who uh, is a contractor, a big contractor. I won't name the name. And he just went out and bought a Mustang, and it was cool. And he got this assignment to go from San Francisco to Los Gatos, which happens to be where our, our company is. And he was complaining, and he said, you know, gosh, it's costing me $120 a week to drive now. You do the math, it's almost $500 a month. Now this kid, is, you know, he doesn't have that kind of money. And I kept saying, well, I looked at a Yahoo ad the other day and it said the cheapest car, sorry, the fastest cars for under 20,000. And there was a picture of the Mustang. And frankly, Ford is a phenomenal organization. You're gonna see Ford come up with a host of innovative electric vehicles, great telematics. These guys are innovative, they're using Intel, they're bright thinkers, they've reinvented the company. But when you buy that Mustang, that's a nice vehicle today, and like this kid did, he doesn't have any, so he buys a vehicle to get there and back, but he can't afford a date, so he's got no girlfriend, so he's got no more money left. So needless to say, that's why he was drinking at the bar. So I've done this analysis, we could save up to $19,000 if you commute 37 miles there and back from work and get to charge at home at PG&E's newly introduced 5.6 cents a kilowatt hour rate at home. Not everybody can get it. This is best case analysis for the scientists, you know, or the press don't have a field day. But if you do this analysis, you can save $19,000 over the life of that six year period if you do 108,000 miles. And I would argue that you save $250 a month. That's at gas at 385. You save $250 a month. If you put that in a 4% interest bearing or mutual fund, you'll have over $20,000 in six years. You can buy your next electric vehicle for free. And we can talk more about that analysis. It's doable.